excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. Ugh, I got to say, I must say, that SmackDown was weak sauce beyond weak sauce. I didn't, ah, what up, y'all? Can't be the sexy ninja in the place to be, as always, and welcome to the New World Podcast, brother. Fueled, sponsored, powered, and you will acknowledge crazyhoodies.com. Crazy hoodies with a Z, crazyhoodies.com. All designs made by the one and only Big Daddy. If you are subscribed, to the C Plus Studios feed, you should hear Big Daddy forever. Or you want to show him some more love, go to his solo YouTube page, Big Daddy of C Plus Studios. It's his own page. Check it out. Give him some likes, give him some subscribes, and go to crazyhoodies.com with a Z and show Big Daddy some love. Gain some knowledge from the one and only. Big Daddy. All right. Smackdown. I was not impressed. The best thing about the show is the starting with Roman and that great little wise man. What's wrong? And Paul Heyman just cuts this great, great, great promo about why he's afraid of Brock because Brock is his back is against the wall and you know, it, he's like this. This Brock Lesnar's hungry. This this is the beast incarnate, and every time he's told no, he proves everybody wrong. That there alone, though, sold that match for me for Roman versus Brock because it is a last man standing match. They're gonna beat the hell out of each other, and for some, there was this weird thing though. Um, before they cut the commercial. Austin Theory was just there in the background holding the money in the bank. Like, it was a weird little, like, he was there and the announcer was like, oh my gosh, Austin Theory. Then later on, after the promo, after Paul Heyman says what he needs to say, uh, Austin Theory comes out, runs around the ring, and that's it. They're like, he's playing mind games with the tribal chief. And uh, <laughs> he could just tell Roman's like, eh, yeah, I, I ain't sweating you. I ain't sweating you at all. Then the main event was one of those main events that I was kind of like, oh, cool. I don't mind seeing Sheamus and uh, Drew McIntyre beat the crap out of each other. But that didn't happen. Waited, waited, no. And the main event was, uh, once again, Drew McIntyre cutting the ring with his sword. And his sword actually bent, which was funny. Um, uh, I, I don't know. This 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 SmackDown just did not vibe with me whatsoever. I, I was like, okay, come on, let's Let's get to the point. And then here comes Liv Morgan. And don't get me wrong. I I really like that Liv Morgan's champion. But she needs to stop the whole, like, oh, my God, I'm champion. Look at me. You know, I'm so happy. It's just like, I I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting more from her. Uh, from her, you know, she's, yes, she's the underdog. Yes, she's worked so hard. Yes, she's done this. But I don't know. She's just not coming cro- across to me as a champion. And Natalia comes out, does her thing, and this we- Ronda comes out, obvi- looking hurt, and they have a match between Ronda and Natalia, and Ronda wins. Now we're gonna get Ronda versus Liv Morgan at SummerSlam. I don't know. It, it was just the the whole show. For some reason, everything in the show besides the starting with Roman, well, even the starting with Roman with Austin Theory coming out, I just thought it was just like who who's in charge tonight of producing this and who's in charge of writing this show especially the ending the main event alone put a really bad taste in my mouth i i just did not i was just like so you advertise this match and i so it was supposed to be sheamus drew mcintyre and whoever wins are going to face the champ the champ at uh clash at the castle or clash yeah clash at the castle in, in the, the big pay-per-view in the uk and it didn't happen so i'm guessing they're going to build the feud, even though this feud is already like a top-notch. Like These guys want to kick each other's ass. 
they're going to face each other at SummerSlam, and that's going to be the same stipulation that they're going to do a SmackDown, or unless they're going to do a SmackDown next week. Like, we're only like three, three or four weeks away from SummerSlam. But we pretty much got our card set, and real quick, just to run over the card so far. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar in a last man standing match in the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship is on the line. Pat McAfee versus uh, Happy Corbin. Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory for the WWE United States Championship. The Usos versus the Street Profits. That's the one I'm always excited about because they did burn down the house with uh, their match at Money in the Bank. And I can't wait to see it again. And Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. For the championship, the SmackDown championship, uh, we, I don't know, it, the card right now is like okay, I, I'm down, you know, but nothing's screaming at me besides the Usos and the Street Profits. So we need another big match because it's SummerSlam, and SummerSlam is so special to me, and because this is uh, an anniversary for me and my wife. Um, this was like first date, yeah, our first date was a pay per view, and it was SummerSlam 2011. CM Punk versus John Cena. So SummerSlam is very special to me. Special in my heart. And we, we shall see, though. Uh, like I said, with Paul Heyman's uh, promo he cut, I am excited about Roman versus Brock, even though we've seen it a bunch of times. And hopefully, uh, what uh, Paul was saying, the final match, this is it. That's all. Bada bing, bada boom. Because if I swear if we see him again <laughs> against each other, it's just like these are the only two you got to sell the bill of a SummerSlam or a WrestleMania. And, you know, enough is enough. Let them beat each other up and just move on from there. Because honestly, like, you know, after Cody left, uh, there's no Randy. There's, you know, and whatever they did with Riddle. I, you know, it, it just, it's all falling flat. And I, like I said, I, this SmackDown just put a really bad taste in my mouth. We shall see what happens on Monday and hopefully that changes. Let me know what you think. Drop your, uh, comments below. Let me know. Did you like SmackDown? Was there anything that you took away from the show? Like I said, there's just a few things that I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. All right. I can skip this. I can skip this. And I'm just, oh, one more thing. I am just not feeling the Viking Raiders. His heels, you know, and beating up the New Day every week. Like, it was pretty funny when they're like, we got these ass-beating tickets, we're going to cash them in now, but they got their ass kicked and handed to them again. And I'm just like, how many times do we need to do this over and over? Will we see this at SummerSlam? I don't know why, but I don't know. I just really don't care for the Vikings as heels, the Viking Raiders, so... Drop those comments. Let me know. Did you like the show? Did you not like the show? Was there some? Did you like the Roman Roman Reigns um, starting? I that's the one thing I liked. Then after that, I was like, ah, oh, I wish you ended the show with this, <laughs> and not Drew cutting the ring up. Um, yeah, drop those comments below. Like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB the Sexy Ninja, and this is the New World Podcast, brother for life but we have a problem and that problem's name is Brock Lesnar